I mean, it might be Singapore because I told my friend that I will make a team with him next year. But you know, things always change, and I would love to go to Europe. Yeah. Oh. Still, it's, it's the same. I always wanted to go to Europe. Yeah. I don't really think it's that hard for a Singaporean to play competitive Dota for a Chinese team or any competitive competitive team, to be honest. It's more about the hard work and dedication that you need to put in that will take you there. And it's actually more than that. Like you have to market yourself well, you have to let other teams and let people around the world know that you are that good so that people will want you and that you are actually nice enough to be in the same team with them. I mean if you are a ragey little kid with lots of luggage and then even if I got the best play in the world, I don't think I doubt anyone will team with you. Saudi Cup type friends. Uh, and be safe. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Oli Schorze. I'm the VP Programming for ESO, which basically means I'm responsible for uh, the big tournaments and events, like ESO 1, for example. So I think we knew that there would be, you know, a huge Dota 2 audience here. Um, I think it's the biggest Dota 2 country in the world. So we, we knew that lots of people would be excited about this. And then we just needed the right partner and the right venue. And Moa Arena is a good place. Mineski was a great partner. Um, we had some great sponsors, PRDT and Smart. And it all fit. And at that point we said, well, let's do it. We need to do it. We, we think it's going to be great. And what we've seen so far has really exceeded our expectations. So it's a very passionate crowd, everybody's really excited, so we're really happy with how it went. So I think we're, we're looking, you know, to expand a lot more in the next time. Um, we've gone to uh, Malaysia with an event, we're now in the Philippines with an event, and uh, Thailand has definitely been on our radar. Uh, there's a couple of events where we might do something as part of a game show, or we might even set up a standalone event. Um, so yeah, we, we know there's a huge following um, for esports in those countries, so there definitely needs to be events at some point. So I, I wouldn't say it's far off. I can't say if it's you no, know, it's definitely not this year. That's what I can say. But you know, maybe next year um, there will be something big. But yeah, we're definitely looking to to grow, and it's it's good to see that um, esports growing big everywhere. And um, we don't want to be just in Europe and just in North America with those events, but Asia. Uh, everywhere, basically, we want to put those events where there's uh, a big local following. So, I mean, we're going back to Frankfurt and uh, Cologne. Those are events that we've uh, already established. Um, also, um, North America, we had an event last year, so we'll, we'll do it again there. And, you know, I, I think there's a couple of interesting markets for us. Um, South America is something that we're looking at, um, where we might be hosting something. Like I said, Asia, um, there's definitely uh, going to be countries that we haven't gone to for a long time, that we are going to return to. Um, and then, you know, like I said, new ones. Uh, if, when we establish ESO1 events, we want to host them every year. So this one in Manila it happened this year. Um, I think with how it turned out so far, we definitely want to do it again next year. And then everything else we're, we're just looking to see, but um, pretty sure we'll, we'll add more countries, more um, venues in the next months, uh, just because it's getting so big everywhere and that needs to be everywhere. Okay, thank you so much.